Hi friends, how are you? Welcome to my YouTube channel D&D Parshala. In this video, we will discuss regarding the metronidazole drug. So let's get started with our video. So in this video, the most important note is the drug information provided in this video is just for educational purpose and for providing knowledge. If anyone use this drug without doctor's advice by seeing this video and if you face any kind of problems by this drug, then it is not our channel responsibility for the person who took the drug. So please be careful. So before going to the metronidazole drug, I want to discuss the brief classification that which will be depending upon the mechanism of action of the antibacterial drugs. As metronidazole is also a kind of antibiotic. So a brief classification regarding the mechanism of action. So there are actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 7 classes. So here these will be inhibiting cell wall synthesis like beta-lactam family, penicillin, cephalosporin, carbapenem, monobactams, cyclosirin, bacitracin. So these are one type. And causing the leakage from the cell membrane means the bacterial leakage like polymyxin, cholestin, bacitracin, am amphotericin B. So these are another class. And inhibiting the protein synthesis is another class of mechanism of action that is tetracycline, chloramphenicol, erythromycin and others like linozolid. So this is another. And misleading of mRNA like aminoglycosides, the examples are like streptomycin, gentamicin and inhibiting the DNA gyrases like ciprofloxacin and interfering with the DNA function rifampin. And the last mechanism of action is interfering with the intermediary metabolism means in between type of metabolism like sulfonamide, sulfones, trimethoprim, paraaminosalicylic acid, metronidazole. So our metronidazole will be coming under the mechanism of action that is it will be interfering with the intermediate metabolism that we will discuss in the later slides. So this is the mechanism of action regarding the brief of the antibacterial drugs. Now coming here, we will have a brief classification regarding the anti-amoebic drugs as our metronidazole drug will be coming under the category anti-amoebic or anti-protozoal type of drug. So there are actually two categories. One is tissue amoebicides and luminal amoebicides. In tissue amoebicides, there are again two categories. One is intestinal and extra intestinal means within and outside the intestinal amoebiasis condition and for just for extra intestinal amoebiasis. Now coming for the intestinal plus extra intestinal, there are again two categories. One is nitroimidazole classification, another one is alkaloid classification. So nitroimidazole classification will be coming under the same intestinal and extra intestinal. So the drugs that which are present in these nitroimidazoles means metronidazole, tinidazole, secnidazole, ornidazole and alkaloid classification means emitin, dehydroemitin. So this is the intestinal plus extra intestinal amoebiasis classification drugs for extra intestinal only chloroquine now coming for luminal amoebicides there are again three classes amides antibiotics eight hydroxyquinolines so amides classification means nitazoxanide diloxanide and eight hydroxyquinolines means quinodoclar that is iodochlorohydroxyquin and diiodohydroxyquin so this can be also said as iodoquinol and antibiotics like tetracycline, paromycin, so paromycin. So these are the classifications of the anti-amoebic type of drugs. So our drug metronidazole comes under the category nitroimidazole. Nitroimidazole will be coming under the category for intestinal plus extra intestinal amoebiasis category. This category will come under the tissue amoebicide. Tissue amoebicides category will come under the anti-amoebic drugs. So this is the brief classification. So coming to our drug metronidazole, this is the chemical structure. Now coming to the chemistry of the metronidazole, it is a prototype imidazole, nitroimidazole. So what is this prototype means? It is actually a term or a type of product or a type of term means which is discovered or which is developed before the products the, before the products or before the drugs actual drugs are to be produced so this is actually a prototype nitroimidazole so actually this was introduced for the trichomoniasis infection in 1959 year 
later it was actually found to be a highly active amoebicide so this is the history now coming to its molecular formula it is c6h9n3o3 as we can see in this structure c6h9n3o3 now coming to its molecular weight it is 171.15 gram per mole and coming to its international union of pure and applied chemistry that is iupac name it is 2 hyphen 2 hyphen methyl 5 nitroimidazole 1 ethanol so this is the chemistry related to the metronidazole now coming to its brands it is actually available in oral form iv form parenteral form and also to the topical type of form so iv and parenteral will come in one category so oral parenteral topical so tablet with the brand name aldizol by albert david company it is available in 400 mg aristoxyl liquid it is available in 100 mg per ml by aristo pharmaceuticals uh, limited company and laryzyl gel that is laryngeal gel or laryzyl gel it will be available it will be available in cream or gel or ointment that to 0.5 percent weight by weight in 30 grams so this is the company lark laboratories company is being manufacturing this laryngeal gel and metrozole infusion that is 100 ml so 500 mg drug per 5 ml it will be consisting this is manufactured by JB Chemicals and Pharmaceuticals Limited Company and Flazyl Oral Suspension is containing 200 mg of drug per 5 ml and this is by AHPL Company. So these are some of the brands that which are related to the Metrozole Company. Now coming to the pharmacological information. So coming to the pharmacological information as I said in the previous classification it is belonging to amoebicide, antidiarrheal, antibiotic, nitroimidazole derivative, anti-infective agent, anti-protozole agent. So these are the classes that which this metronidazole belongs to. And coming to its uses like amoebiasis that which is caused because of the entamoeba histolytica, trichomoniasis, bacterial meningitis and even it is also used for the post-operative diarrheal infections and giardiasis, H. pylori that is histo helicobacter pylori. So histolytica is the entamoeba histolytica is causing the amoebiasis. H. pylori is the helicobacter pylori. So this helicobacter pylori is one of the most causative organism that which is responsible for causing peptic ulcer and also for the prophylaxis of the STDs that is the sexually transmitted diseases and also for the other conditions like pelvic inflammatory disease and post-operative infections in the appendectomy operation that is the removal of the appendix from this from this uh, part that is the abdomen part so these are some of the uses that which are actually used for the conditions means the metronidazole is used for such type of conditions so this is the pharmacological information now coming to its strengths as i have said it, regarding in the brand slide it is available in oral form parental form topical form so the strengths that which are mostly available and are available in this metronidazole drug is in the oral type of tablet forms it is available in 200 mg and 400 mg tablet forms and when coming to the infusions it is available in a 100 ml infusion which will be consisting of 500 mg drug and in the oral suspensions like 200 mg of metronidazole will be consisting per 5 ml and in the creams gels ointments it will be present from the strengths like 0.75%, 1%, 1.5%, 2%. So weight by weight, weight by weight by weight is the proportion that which is used for this such type of strengths regarding the semi-solid type of dosage form. So these are the available strengths of the metronidazole drug. Now coming to the mechanism of action. As it is a broad spectrum bactericidal antibiotic. So this broad spectrum means it will be covering most of the organisms and bactericidal so the difference between the bacteriostatic and bactericidal means bactericidal will be killing the organism whereas the bacteriostatic will be inhibiting the growth or the process of its replication or the some kind of action that which is done by the bacteria or the organism so bacteriostatic is inhibition bactericidal is complete killing so it will be completely eliminating so now coming to the mechanism of action of the metronidazole it will be working by passive diffusion process so first of all in the anaerobic bacteria into the cytoplasm it will be entering so where here the transport proteins will be present such as ferredoxin transfer electrons so such type of transport proteins will be present and to the nitro group of the metronidazole so by the passive diffusion 
that passive diffusion will occur in the cytoplasm of anaerobic bacteria in that anaerobic bacteria the transport proteins will be there like ferridoxin transfer electrons so from this ferridoxin transfer electrons it will transfer to the by the transportation of the to the nitro group of the metronidazole from there it will form a nitroso free radical so this is one step and the next is it will be actually creating a concentration type of gradient for the intracellular means within the cellular type of transport of the metronidazole drug so by this transport of this metronidazole drug here the free radical that is the nitroso free radical of the metronidazole it will be interacting with the intracellular dna so by the interaction it will result in the first of all it will be inhibited so if the dna synthesis is inhibited then the further action will not take place so by the inhibition of the dna synthesis the degradation will be occurred so the degradation occurs means then there is no use of there so ultimately the bacteria will be dead so that is the bactericidal type of action so concentration gradient development by the intracellular transport then this nitroso free radical will be transported and it will interact with intracellular dna then inhibition then degradation then ultimately death so this is the mechanism and topical application will be also exerting a anti inflammatory type of effect in the treatment of rosaceae that is some uh, kind of the organism so because of this organism the anti inflammatory type of effect will be shown by the topical application of metronidazole and this metronidazole is actually having a anti protozoal and also antibacterial type of actions and it is effective against the trichomonas vaginalis that may cause the trichomoniasis and other type of protozoa like entamoeba histolytica that is the amoebiasis causative organism giardia lamblia that is giardia lamblia and against the anaerobic bacteria so this is the brief mechanism of action regarding the metronidazole now coming to its pharmacokinetic information that is the ADMA parameters first of all we will see a that is absorption so as i have said in the previous drugs t max means the drug that which reaches its maximum effect that the maximum effect reaching time is t max c max means same the drug at which concentration it will be reaching to show its maximum effect that is c max so here the t max means if this drug is given through iv it will be at the end of infusion means it will reach its t max at the end of infusion and for oral it will reach its uh, maximum time of action that is maximum effect showing time within 1 to 2 hours and if it is given through rectal it is for 3 hours and for topical for 8 to 12 hours and coming to the bioavailability through the systemic circulation it is about 80 percent and for topical it is minimal and through vaginal creams or vaginal tablets it is about 20 percent and for gel it is 56 percent so this is the pharmacokinetic information of the metronidazole drug that to absorption parameter now coming to the distribution so volume of distribution for the adults will be 0.55 liter per kg and coming to the neonates it will be about 0.54 to 0.81 liter per kg and protein binding is less than 20 percent and metabolism coming to the metabolism hepatic metabolism is extensive so here in the hepatic metabolism the metabolite that is hydroxymethyl metabolite of the metronidazole will be active and in the vaginal route means if the drug is given through the vaginal route the metabolite that is 1 hyphen 2 hydroxyethyl 2 hydroxymethyl 5 nitroimidazole and 1 acetic acid 2 methyl 5 nitroimidazole so if these are the metabolites that which are active when it is given through vaginal route so these are the metabolism parameters now coming to the excretion the renal clearance is about 10 to 11 milliliters that is ml per minute per 1.73 meter square so this is the renal clearance and through the vaginal that is through the fecal route 6 to 15 percent so the renal means 60 to 80 percent so this is the renal clearance parameters and the through the fecal parameters and when coming to if this is the dialysable type of parameter in the case of any kind of kidney disordered patients as this is a dialysable drug through hemodialysis and through peritoneal dialysis now coming to the elimination half-life elimination half-life is about 8 hours means it will be ranging up to 6 to 12 hours depending upon the patient so this is the ADME parameters and this is the pharmacokinetic information related to the drug 
metronidazole now coming to the adverse effects and the contraindications now commonly the adverse effects that which can be seen with this metronidazole drug are nausea diarrhea meta metallic type of test or abnormal type of test so this test is we will be seeing normal type of taste so with this test the abnormal type of taste so the test parameters abnormal type of test means actually so if these are the divided type of test like serum type of drug concentrations so if these can also be calculated but coming to the side effects nausea diarrhea abnormal taste in the mouth like metallic taste and headache dizziness loss of the appetite constipation so these are some of the common type of side effects and coming to the severe type of side effects are like hepatotoxicity autotoxicity peripheral neuropathy seizures leukopenia steven johnson syndrome it is a very rare type of syndrome rare rare type of adverse event that which occurs to the skin and the mucous membranes and optic nerve type of disorders so these are the side effects metallic taste abnormal taste is also common but it can be avoided in the conditions like without preferring without any kind of alcohols so the most contraindication for this drug is hypersensitivity and the alcohol shouldn't be taken along with this drug because it will show the disulfiram type of like reactions and disulfiram drug users so this disulfiram drug is used for the alcohol intoxication means the person who are willing to skip the alcohol to leave the alcohol as a habit they will be given this disulfiram in the addiction type of centers under the physician's advice so for such type of disulfiram users this metronidazole is completely contraindicated these are the contraindications now coming to the interactions like amprinavir sparfloxacin ronidarone busulfan mebendazole donipezil warfarin voclosporin quinidine so these are some of the interactions like these interactions will be like with the metronidazole like they will be reducing their action either the metronidazole will reduce its action or these drugs will reduce their action and it may increase the toxicity conditions and also the pregnancy category of this metronidazole drug is b means it can be given up to a extent means up to a safe extent but before taking this drug the pregnant women should consult their physicians if they have any kind of related problems then they should consult their physician and then they have to take their advice if this drug can be taken by themselves or not so these are the adverse effects and contraindications of the metronidazole drug now coming to the patient education so we should tell the patient to avoid this tablet with alcohol like the disulfiram type of reactions may occur with the alcohol if it is taken and we should also tell the patient about the side effects and we should also tell the patient to take the tablet up to the prescribed period not up to their own extent means they can't take this medication as by their own use so we there should be taken in a, they should actually take in a prescribed period so up to the physician's marked type of advice like if the physician has said up to one week then they should take up to one week they shouldn't prolong if by chance there is any kind of preview then they have to go to the physician and they have to report if the such type of problem is not cured then if i can take this drug up to another week or for another 3 days so if the physician say s yes, then we should go for the option otherwise we shouldn't go for our own type of options or we should listen to our own self so in the case of drug in any case of any kind of drug the patient should not listen to their own opinion they should take the physician or the pharmacist advice and we should also tell to the patient to go to the hospital to report any kind of side effects like if there are any report of seizures peripheral neuropathy such type of conditions if they are occurred and we should also tell the patient if they miss any kind of drug dose then they should ask their physician or the pharmacist for the further action means what can we do i have missed my dose so can i take it after one hour so such type of advices are to be asked by the patient to the physician or to the clinical pharmacist so this is the patient education that we should give to the particular patient who is taking this metronidazole drug and this is the do not confuse section so in so many cases the metronidazole is actually confused with the drug so don't confuse metronidazole drug with metformin as it is also having prefix like met and this is also having prefix like met so the people may think as it may be as a same drug but it is not the same drug metformin is a anti diabetic drug that which is given mostly in the type 2 diabetic patients so 
प्लीज डोंट कंफ्यूज इन दिस ड्रग मेट्रोलिजोल इज एंटी प्रोटोजोल और एंटी अमीबिक एंटीबायोटिक वेर एज मेटफॉर्मिन इज ए बाइगोनाइड एंटीबायोटिक ड्रग सो विच इज कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन एंड विच इज कंप्लीटली शोइंग डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ एक्शन ऑन आर बॉडी ऑल्सो सो दिस इज अ मेट्रोनिडोल इज एक्टिंग ऑन इंटस्टाइन वेर एज मेटफॉर्मिन विल बी एक्टिंग ऑन डिफरेंट ऑर्गन सो प्लीज डोंट कंफ्यूज विद द बोथ द ड्रग्स इफ द प्रिस्क्रिप्शन इज शोइंग एनी काइंड ऑफ कंफ्यूज टाइप ऑफ नेम्स देन वी शुड री चेक एंड वी शुड वेरीफाई if it is that particular drug or not and then we should take so this is the information and thank you so much for listening to my presentation and if you like my video like share subscribe and please comment to my videos and if you have any kind of related doubts regarding my previous videos and regarding today's video so please share your valuable comments so that i will be explaining and i will clarify your doubts so by clarifying such type of doubts i will be more enthusiastic to post other type of enthusiastic videos also so please comment if you have any kind of doubts related to the previous and today's video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please support me and thank you